So, uh, welcome everyone uh, to the webinar. Um, our uh, guest speaker today is Mr. Abhishek Charles Peter, and uh, he will be talking about a guest complaint. Is it an opportunity uh, rather than the drawback? So, it is very interesting topic. And I know Mr. Abhishek Charles Peter, um, he has uh, got very good experience of uh, luxury star category hotels and uh, he has done uh, multiple guest complaints handlings uh, in his uh, tenure uh, to different uh, star category hotels so uh, he will be enlightening us uh, with this topic um, i would request mr ashish tyagi to um, uh, describe um, uh, um, about mr abhishek charles peters biographical profile please thank you uh, mr azhar uh for giving me a chance to introduce Mr. Peter, the star speaker of the day. Uh, Mr. Abhishek Charles Peter works as a lecturer front office with IHM Merit for the last three years, and we all well know him. He has worked in hotels and hospitality industry for more than eight years, including experience in industry and academics. He has done his bachelor in hotel management in 2012 and master's in tourism and travel management in 2019. Uh, he has worked with Obrai Group of Hotels and other reputed five-star hotel chains and heritage hotels. While working with different hotels and with different demographics, he has learned the skill like developing trading schedule, team management, and inventory of front office and reservations. So, uh, I would like to uh, for the presentation. Before that, I'd like to introduce the chief speaker, our principal uh, chef, Professor Anand Mittal, to inaugurate the webinar. Uh, my blessings are there with uh, Mr. Abhishek Charles Peter. Mr. Abhishek Charles Peter is the coordinator for online learnings. Uh, I'm also happy to see the coordinators, both the coordinators of IHM Merit in the panel and Professor Sarat Chandra. I would like to Ask Mr. Peter to begin the proceedings of the webinar. Well, a very warm good afternoon to everyone. And um, first of all, I would like to thank the management and our principal sir for giving me an, such a uh, nice platform over here and uh, to give me an opportunity so that I can uh, share my views uh, on the very special topic being in front office personnel to all with the uh, panelists who are here with me and to all the students who are listening to me. And I would like to thank uh, the other sir, uh, Ajish uh, Tyagi sir and uh, Saurabh Chandra sir who is there with us. So I'd like to thank uh, to everyone for uh, providing me such a special platform. Well, uh, today's topic uh, which we're going to start is the uh, handling the guest complaint. So uh, being a part of a front office personnel, I mean, uh, guest complaint is a very important topic because uh, if you uh, are not sure uh, how to handle your guests, then I mean, it's, it's worthless to work in a front office. So uh, maybe uh, from many point of view, many people think that the guest complaint, uh, I mean, it's a very easy thing. It can be handled very easily. And it's not a very big deal uh, that uh, we can go through a guest complaint and we can sort it very easily. Um, maybe that might be a good, but to be an as, as experienced person in the front office, I think that our guest complaints is, is a very important scenario if we talk in terms of front, front office. And guest complaints are directly uh, linked uh, with the hotel revenue. So in our uh, further presentation, I will definitely going to discuss it, how guest complaints are linked with the hotel room revenue. So we'll go on to the topic. Uh, and in that, uh, when the guest complains, one more uh, thing I would like to add in that, when the guest complains, some of us think that it's a drawback for us. And I mean, it's a very uh, bad thing that the guests are complaining in a hotel and it's a very bad, uh, impression on our services and obviously it will be a very bad impact on our goodwill but as per me what I think guest complaint is not a drawback but on the other part it's an opportunity that how you can improve your services because if if, if I'm uh, if somebody is not telling me that where I'm going wrong 
then how can I improve on my services? It's similar that when you give your exams, uh, your result is out. Or when you give your uh, papers, sometimes your teachers show your copies to you. So what you learn from those copies, that where you have done your mistakes, right? And when you, uh, in future, when you will be sitting in your exams or similar type of uh, situation, then you can improve on those situations and improve on those topics where you have done the mistake. So for me, and I would like to tell each and every person who are here with us, that guest complaints is not a drawback for us, but it's on the other part. It's, it's I mean, it's a merit for us and it's a kind of a report card for us that how we can improve our services. So in this, uh, we will do, going to discuss what are the natures of complaint, why the nature, uh, why the complaint comes basically. Then we're going to list different type of complaints and the complainers. Obviously, we have different type of complaints and we have different type of complainers in the hotel. So that we will going to learn that what are the uh, categories of different type of complainers and how we need to tackle them separately. Then uh, we're going to learn about the uh, last uh, is a kind of a sequence by which you can uh, complain, uh, sort out the guest complaints or you can use it in the hotel to resolve the guest complaints then different documentation uh, what we uh, i mean usually maintaining in the hotel uh, for the guest complaints and how we can effectively handle the guest complaints so these are the basic things which we're going to discuss in a further module so first of all uh, uh, the basic thing comes that why guests did not return to the hotel now that's a very big question he guest uh, uh, sometime when the guest is coming and they're not coming it uh, I mean they're not uh, repeating back and we are not expecting that they're not coming back to a property so what are the reasons so the survey which I'm showing you right now actually this is a survey uh, when I was working with the Obroids so that's a common survey which we uh, followed for all the guests in a particular uh, span of time and uh, this is the, uh, I mean, result which we uh, came across when we do the survey. So, I mean, it's a very common scenario that one person guest did not return to the hotel because they die. I mean, they are no more in this world. That's why they are not coming back to the hotel. Now, 3% of the uh, guests, they are not coming to the hotel because they are move away. I mean, maybe they are living in India, they move up to some other country. Maybe they are living in uh, uh, Maharashtra, they move uh, to uh, uh, Chennai or to Punjab. I mean, they move from move from one place to another place. So that's why they are not returning back to the hotel. Next point which comes in is the 5% are the guests which are not coming to the hotel. I mean, they have other contacts. Maybe they have their friends, they have their uh, colleagues. They have their uh, business uh, relations, they have their family. So they have the other contact, they get influenced by those contacts and they try to go to some other hotel. So these comes under the 5% of the guests, that's why they are not coming back to the hotel. Now next category comes is the 9% guests are not coming to the hotel because of the price issue. Right. Obviously, when me and I are going to the hotel, we will going to survey the different hotels and we'll see that which hotel pricing is, uh, I mean, convenient to my pocket. So definitely many guests are there. Uh, they have the price issue in their mind. Uh, they will search for new packages. They will search for cheaper rates from the hotel. So they will move away because of the price issue. Next thing comes is the merchandise. I mean, in a market, we have many products. Right? For example, if we take an example in Delhi. So it's not like in a Delhi, we have one, two, three, four, five, only five or six five star hotel. I mean, there are n numbers of five star hotel in the city. So some guests have a tendency to uh, change their taste. I mean, I just take example. One time they stays in Obroys, another time they go to Taj, another time they go to Leela, then they changes to Shangri La, then they goes to Marriott. So they have a tendency to change the taste. I mean, once they have uh, already uh, tasted the service of the Obroys, then they would like to go to the Taj to change their taste. So merchandise is another uh, scenario which comes in it and 14% of the guests, they are not returning back to the hotel. Now this comes as the major issue, personal attitude of the guests. The guests are not coming back to the hotel. 68% guests are not coming back to the hotel because they have the personal attitude. We did not have to uh, hurt the guest ego, that personal attitude because 
in a hotel when we are working with the guests it has always been taught to us that guest is always right and we should treat a guest that guest is everything because from there the hotel revenue is generating so we need to keep in mind that guest personal attitude should not get hurt or we should not hurt the guest personal ego now this constitutes 68% i mean the rest uh, of the uh, things which we have discussed the guest died move away other contacts prices merchandise is there i mean on this we do not have any control but on the guest attitude on the guest ego we can do a control and that 60% we need to concentrate so that the guest ensure we can ensure that the guest should return back to the hotel so that comes the personal attitude now we need to take care of our guests we need to take care that whether uh, what the guest is demanding we should not argue with the guest we should take uh, each and every request which is given to us by the guest seriously we should not take it like okay the guest have said so we will uh, do it or we will not do it so in a five star hotel we do not ex ex expect it so that comes over here that the guest personal attitude needs to be keep in mind and if we want a guest to come back to the hotel i think it is not about the guest attitude i think it is about attitude of the hotel staff so at a hotel staff a very good question is a very good point out obviously at a hotel staff and uh, 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 and all the institute of the hotel man it has been taught to the guest that you need to be polite in front of the guest guest is always right you need not have to argue with the guest So obviously, uh, uh, it has been taught to to the student that for their three years degree program or the four years degree program that they need to control their attitude. So this has been, uh, I mean, introduced in their teaching. But over here, we are talking that why the guest is not coming back to the hotel. Obviously, staff. Right. Hotel. So that sixty-eight uh, percent of the major bulk comes that the, we heard the guest uh, uh, ego sometime, or we are not respecting the guest sentiment. That's why guest is not coming back to the hotel. Next comes what is the definition of complain? I mean, com why guest complains, or what happens that why the guest is complaining to us? So that. Uh, complain simply means that it is the statement of unhappiness guest is not happy with the services and he is expressing his discontent or happiness to us or maybe a situation uh, in which he is not happy he is not comfortable and at the last expectation are not met so guest was expecting something and the expectations were not met that's why a guest was disappointed and in uh, in a situation of disappointment it converts into a guest complaint abhishek sir yes sir uh, may i please interrupt for one second sure. please yes sir uh, i want to appeal to the attendees be very interactive ask your questions in q and a and uh, be very interactive so that it is interesting and informative to you all kindly give your questions in q and a thank you sir thank you thank you sir all right now uh, how we can welcome the guest i mean this is the uh, major of uh, i mean funda that you need to remember if you are working as a front office personnel and i must say not even a front office personnel because at uh, when you're working in fnb service and sometime when you're working in the kitchen or you are in the housekeeping guest come com complain anywhere but the major chunks of the problem which are coming they are coming to the front desk because that is where or that is a point where the guest is interacting with uh, everything so guest can complain about anything so that we will discuss further on so guest complain will going to come to uh, you first thing then obviously there has to be improvement whatever the guest is complaining to you you need to make a improvement in that as per the guest needs and when the improvement or when the work is done as per the guest need then we have the satisfied customers so that is what we are working for we need to satisfy our customers so we are not here to make our guest happy but we are here to make our guest delight uh, related question yes uh, tanu singh wants to ask sir please again explain merchandise like she has not understood Fully merchandise. Merchandise. I must tell you that in in a market we have n numbers of product. Like I just give you a very uh, common example. Merchandise basically means how you are publishing your product. 
how you are effectively how aggressively you are doing the marketing of your product so that your mar- uh, product get more uh, goodwill in the market uh, is more familiarized to the people in the market and more people will buy your product so that is over here what we are i'm just trying to explain in a similar manner in a market as i took the example of delhi so for, uh, in a delhi we do not have only 1 2 3 4 5 6 5 star hotels there are n numbers of hotels there are n numbers of luxury hotels there are n numbers of five four star five star hotels in delhi right so you have too much merchandise in the market everybody is uh, i mean uh, advertising their uh, promotions their plans very aggressively in the market to grab market as much as possible so many of the guests are there i mean those who get influence by those marketing tactics of the other hotel and they got Sorry. disrupted their minds are got hacked by the uh, uh, advertising policies or, or the sales and marketing policies and they turn uh, or they become loyal to some other hotels that is, that is over there that for 14% guests are not coming back to the hotel that means we have to keep a check over the competitors also what strategy they are maintaining or how they are trying to catch away our guests definitely sir that's, that that all tactics will go, going to come under the sales and marketing that they will do that right sir thanks a lot sir thank you sir Yes, sir. So you have any question? Uh, Abhishek, sir, I have seen uh, Miss Sonia Gataria uh, hand was raised. So I would like to ask Miss Sonia Gataria. Uh, uh, you can uh, write in chat if you like to come on the uh, panel and ask question. So uh, can you take uh, Miss Sonia Gataria on the panel? Miss Sonia Gataria. Ah, Miss Sonia Gataria. Communication. Miss Sonia yes. Gataria. Our. Uh, yes. I don't think she's there. Uh, all right, then we can uh, carry on. Uh, Shall we start? Yeah. Yes, please. You can carry on, please. Sir, so, before starting, uh, one student Rahul Swadi wants to ask a question that a, a checkout guest makes a mess at the lobby area by consuming alcohol. How should we handle it? Sir, I would like to answer uh, this question. We will move. Uh, we will move further into our uh, module okay. because we have a topic for that. So, uh, uh, I will land up I, uh, this uh, question over there, and then I will answer that. Right. Thank you, sir. So. Uh, Uh, we were discussing that the guest complaint will going to us, and on that complaint, we need to do improvements. Ask for the guest demand, ask for the guest needs, ask for the guest satisfaction, and we will do uh, each and everything about that. Then we have at last we have these satisfied customers. So when we are working uh, in a five star hotel or in, in any hotel, and especially when you are being a part of the front office, so over there uh, we do not have the aim to uh, make our guest uh, happy, but at last we are working there to make our guest delight. So I was telling you a happy guest might not come back to the hotel, but I must tell you a satisfied guest who is delighted from your service will definitely will going to come back to the hotel. so if the guest comes don't get panic don't uh, get disrupted that the guest is complaining uh, i mean this will going to uh, uh, harm your uh, goodwill of the hotel or the manager will going to dash upon you so just try to listen to the guest complain try to improve it because when you will do, uh, do the improvements and at last you have the satisfied customers and when you have the satisfied customers you have the improved business so these all things are interrelated to each other
All right. Now next comes is the complain are the opportunities. As when I started my presentation, I was telling you that please don't take guest complaints as the drawback. These are the opportunities. So you need to basically listen to the guest complaint as you see in all the uh, five modules. The first module say evaluate how you are doing. So the guest complaints uh, are coming to use landing up to the uh, to you. Please take the opportunity because they will tell you that how well you are doing. Because if more complaints are uh, coming to you, that means you need to improve your services. That's why the guest is complaining. Moreover, on top of that, when the guest complaints will come to you, the second uh, point will say that you will identify the weak points. Because if the guest will not complain to you, you will not be able to identify your weak points. What are the weak points in your system? What are the weak points in your services? What are the weak points in your menus? So everything is connected. Next thing comes and then the third module, see situation from the customer point of view. So when the complaints are coming so, uh, as a part of the uh, uh, hotel, as a part of the front, uh, front of the staff or the hotel staff, try to think from the guest perspective. Do not think that you are all, uh, always right. Your way of doing the work is same. You will make your butter chicken like that. You will take the checkout as the hotel have told you. No, no, try to listen to the guest and Think from the guest perspective, because if you think that, then that will again, if you have the improved customers and you have the long term loyalty from the guest and when we have the long term loyalty from the guest, obviously it will going to impact our business. So make it easy for the guest to express his concern. Uh, yes, Aza, sir. Uh, Vishak sir, before you uh, go forward, I have uh, two questions. One question is, uh, how do we find out the guest complaints? Like if the guest visits a hotel and he doesn't say anything and he leaves, then how do we make sure that we find out to do a service recovery? Uh, this sir, is the first question. And yes, um, my second question is, how do we differentiate uh, between the real complaint and a fake complaint? Because some guests might, you know, be always dissatisfied, be always uh, rude uh, uh, to get some discounts, to get some something free. Uh, so these are the two major questions which I have. Right. So the first question. Is asking that, these questions. These are my questions. This is of Mr. Azhar Hussain, who is the panelist. All right. Please go ahead. So uh, your uh, first question uh, uh, it will going to come under the different type of complainers which we have in a module i mean in the uh, next coming up slides so that will be answered over there sir and your second question that sometimes guest complaints is are, are the fake complaints so that is the different type of complaints which we are receiving we have four different types of complaints so that will end up uh, in that topic so shall i answer it now or uh, with these uh, with uh, the further ppts you can carry on, please, sir. Sure, sir. Whenever yes, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, there is one uh, relevant question along with this. Deepak Kumar wants to ask, sir, if there is a complaint which a guest makes, which is unusual, then what should we do? Unusual, I suppose, which uh, is not in our system or which is in our head, I suppose he is wanting to ask okay, that. Uh, two questions come related to that. So uh, I prefer to answer this question here only so that it gives more clearance when we uh, discuss that part of the uh, PPD. So unusual uh, is one of the complaints which we receive in the hotel. So uh, let me uh, take you up with the example so that it's more uh, you can relate to things very easily. So uh, when I was working in uh, Obroyes, uh, uh, the guest comes and uh, uh, in a luminous, uh, luminous services, we have the BMW and we have the Audi A5 we have over there. So he, uh, uh, he we, we are having the uh, airport pickup. So we send him uh, the BMW 5 series for the pickup. So when he comes back, he uh, complains to the concierge that uh, uh, I don't like your car uh, because whenever I go to any hotel, uh, uh, I mean, many of the hotels have many luxury cars, but I don't like the BMW. So he was asking for the Rolls Royce. That I, uh, I mean, uh, when I was checking, uh, I will really, uh, will be checking out from the hotel. Kindly arrange it for me, and this is a, take it as a complaint that you didn't send Rolls Royce to me for the pickup. 
so first thing i mean if the guest uh, would have complained uh, or would have conveyed this thing to uh, before checking into the hotel that uh, he needs the airport pickup and uh, please send this car so if we uh, were not able to arrange it then obviously it will land up in a complaint but however when the guest lands on the airport he calls to the hotel that he want a airport pickup and we inform the guest okay sir this is the this will be uh, the charges for the airport pickup and uh, we send the car for the pickup i mean in a short duration of time we cannot arrange the rolls royce for him in a uh, udaipur like a city i mean it's a very small city and i mean there are uh, few reputed hotels in that city and nobody owns that car so this is a kind of unusual complaint i mean in in which we cannot do anything because we receive a com- uh, we receive a guest request at a sh- short notice i mean uh, after landing at the airport guest uh, immediately calls that he need a airport pickup and whatever we have the luxurious car in the hotel we send it now if the guest coming back to, uh, checking into the hotel and complaining that we need to send a chopper for the pickup i mean we cannot do it because we do not have available so we cannot do anything in that another Very example uh, which i have which i can connect uh, uh there was my uh, one of my friend who was working in uh, lalit lakshmi nivas uh, it's in udaipur uh, and that hotel do not have a uh, this thing uh, uh, swimming pool a swimming pool they don't have a swimming pool in the hotel and guest checks in into the hotel then on the second day he complains that uh, you don't have a swimming pool in the hotel please register my complaint i mean uh, in a span of one night i, I cannot dig a uh, uh, swimming pool for him so this is a kind of unusual complaint i mean we have listened to that and only we can say okay uh, definitely sir we have other properties in a, another city so why don't you go over there so this kind of a logic we can put to the guest but in this situation we cannot do anything so these are the complaints which are unusual complaints in which uh, i mean we do not have any option apart from giving uh, options to the guest because we cannot resolve them Yeah, that's correct. Uh, I, uh, Mr. Abhishek, can I ask you to give me the host rights for a minute? I want to put this live on Facebook. Uh, to you, sir? Yes, please, if it is possible. Allow me a moment, sir. We must. This session is going very well, and we must, uh, from H M Erat, we must make it live on Facebook. you know so that those people who are not able to attend can watch it later on also so i am making you host right sir yes 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 just for just for a little while once we start uh, yeah thank you yeah thank you sir uh, yes sir do you mind uh, if i do, that, do you mind if i put us live on facebook mr peter for sure sir okay. yes sir sorry please carry on professor sorry uh-huh. uh abhishek sir uh, there is one connected question again like uh, we have uh, these are unusual condition i understand we all understand but then mr i suppose uh, 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 he say abhishek bharadwaj says that in this situation we are not able to meet the demand of the guest but they may think that we are making excuses like uh, in they say that aap log karna nahi chahte so you are saying like this it may arise then is there any solution i don't think there is any solution if the uh, there there are two kind of solution uh, what we can offer now the first thing as So many limits. Planes with in today, na. So the uh, uh, only option you have. So if you are a chain of hotels, you can suggest guest to your mother or sister properties where you have these facilities. Very true. Now Very true. the second thing comes. The guest come to the restaurant and he ask. Uh, let's say I want to have uh, any of the octopus dish. Now usually hotels, I mean they don't have the octopus uh, on their menu. It's only yes. a special request. I mean, there's an example I'm giving, and I'm very bad at F&B, so that's whatever just come to my mind. So that's a, uh, how I'm giving the example. 
<laughs> so in that scenario, I mean, this is an unusual request because guests can see in your menu it's not available. So guests can make a request from uh, for, uh, from the F and D staff or from the uh, chef, and guests can arrange it. Very good. Very good. So uh, Very good. this is the answer. Uh, Thank you sir. for the, both for both the uh, questions which you have asked me. Uh, shall we move further, sir? Sir, thank you, sir. So, uh, what we, uh, 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 as a part of the hotel, what we need to do, we need to make it easy for the guest to make or to express his concern. Because if we are not making it easy for the guest, we are making it tougher. We are very hard to reach. Then obviously, guest will not be able to express his concern to us very easily. Okay, I must tell you, Mr. Peter, we are uh, online now. Yes, sir. And uh, uh, all the attendees and all the panelists can please inform their friends that they can watch this webinar on Facebook Live if they are friends with me. And uh, I would now like to hand over the host rights back to you, sir. Thank you, thank you. That is all right. Shall we go ahead, sir? Yeah. You are the host now. Thank you, sir. Back again. The meeting is getting trans uh, telecast on Facebook. So, please go ahead. Thank you. I believe the screen is uh, available to everyone on the screen. My yes, screen sir. Is, okay. Now, uh, next question comes is the different type of complainers what you have in the hotel. Now, uh, when we are dealing, uh, so we uh, we need to deal with different type of guests who are coming into the hotel. Everybody have a dis different psychology, different way of thinking, different expectation, and we need to cope up with them. We need to understand each and every one so that accordingly we can provide them service. So the first type of complainers over here, we have the open complainers. Right, you can say, uh, I mean, they will come to the lobby, they will be shouting on you, they will dash upon you, and they just want it right now. Whatever they just say you in the lobby, they want it there right now. So these type of complainers, they will openly display their anger. They will not come to the lobby, they will not take you aside and uh, then uh, tell you the complaint, but they will come to the lobby and start shouting it. Or they, if they are in the restaurant, they will start shouting there. If they are in the spa or any of the public area, they will start displaying their anger. So they can be intimidating. They want and need to be noticed. Now, why they are doing, doing this to the hotel? Because they want to be get noticed by other guests, by the hotel staff. They want uh, the special, uh, uh, need of attraction, everybody should see them, everybody should temper them and offer them more freebies on the top of that, if we think about that. Now, next comes in uh, second type of complainers. Uh, they don't say anything. They simply don't return. They pass on bad news to other and uh, they make up the majority of unhappy customers or guest. Now, these kind of complainers, you can say these are the shy complainers. I mean, uh, many of us uh, have a tendency that if uh, we don't like something, if we are not happy with something, then we uh, keep it in our heart. And the same thing we ex express to our guests, or sorry, express to our friends, to our colleagues, to our family, and spread a wrong information into the market. So we need to be very much uh, uh, careful about, the, uh, about these kind of guests because they will not explain, express their concern to you. So you need, you need to learn the body language of the guests. You need to learn the, or you need to learn the uh, face expression of the guest so that accordingly you can reach to the guest or you can contact the guest and ask if the guest is unhappy about something or if the guest is unhappy about any of the services because these kind of guests will form a bad news for you in the market. They will hurt your or they will uh, going to make your goodwill bad in the market. And in last, they will end up with the majority of the customers who will become unhappy, maybe just because of the word to mouth. So these type of complainers are like the silent bomb. So you need to understand these kind of guest psychology and you need to act accordingly. So these things, I mean, it is not written anywhere in, in, in any books that uh, how you need to uh, learn the guest uh, uh, behavior or their body language. I mean, these everything will go to come 
give experience on the third type of complainers what we have they are full of useful ideas i mean uh, personally everyone who are working in the hotel level will like these kind of guests because they are full of ideas they will come to you they will reach you they will contact you they will say their concern that why they are not happy with the services why they are not happy with your service uh, with your product so they will express their concern in a polite manner in a decent manner they will not shout at you they will not embarrass you uh, in front of other guests they will uh, say their concern in maybe in privately or if they are uh, i mean uh, saying anything to you they will say publicly but not shouting at you or they will express this con concern very politely to you and on the top of that if they are not happy with your services if they are not happy with your product they will give you the a uh, result or they will give you the idea how you can improve your service so they will express their concern first thing second thing they will express it politely third thing they will give you ideas at how you can recover this problem so these are the three type of complainers what we have in the hotel so i believe uh, mr azar uh, your question is answered yes abhishek sir thank you so much thank you and i believe uh, saurabh sir your question is also answered yeah, very 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 nicely sir i am really a very good insight i got really very nicely and one related question has also come yes, uh, can i ask you yes sir uh, bhargavi bhat from hha first year wants to ask sir if guest start shouting out in the lobby how yes. we will stop that guest so that it won't affect the rest of the guest present over there right so uh, many of the time uh, when you will be uh, working with the guest services you will come across many situation many guests they will that they will start bang upon you they will not look how many guests are there in the restaurant they will not look how many guests there are in the lobby whether the other guests will be affected by their shouting by their bad behavior they will not care about anything they will just bang upon you the first thing you what you need to do you need to make the guests calm down so how you can make your guest calm down that we will uh, going to discuss in uh, further module second thing if you are not able to make calm down uh, if you are not able to uh, make control over the situation kindly remove the guest from the public area so that second thing will come if uh, the lobby yes, if the guest is in the lobby kindly take the guest maybe at the Wait. back side of the lobby or maybe other place where there are less guests or there are no guest if still you are not able to able to handle the situation then it's better you need to call your senior if you are a assistant you call your supervisor if you are a supervisor call your executive if you are executive call your manager and if you are a manager call your general manager so this is how it will goes then i'm sure Thank the you, problem uh, will be solved yes sir don't you engage your attendees a little bit yes sir prasa kuch give them something to do ask them questions whatever let's uh, see the attendees uh, busy so <laughs> i think attendees will going to make me busy and once i finish up then i will ask my attendees for sure <laughs> no no they'll otherwise get they'll, they'll get bored so give them something All to right. do right now okay sure i will ask in in between <laughs> so uh, i i will ask them i will ask in between why don't you launch a poll so uh, i mean i can launch Give me a moment, sir. Let them uh, write something. Let them say something. I mean, of course, they are saying things. Yeah, I see a thumbs up sign. Who did that? Who sent the thumbs up? Please, uh, attendees, please engage yourselves. This is your college. These are your teachers. I am the director of this college. I mean, we are doing a closed program. Let's. Uh, yeah, I see another thumbs up. Who's this? And then there should be a thumbs down also. Oh my God! I see one more thumbs up. Oh my God! So many of them. Wow! Wow! So that's that's how you see. Yes, sir. Uh, are you able to launch a poll, uh, Mr. Abhishek? Yes, sir, if I just launch a poll, then I have to uh, stop sharing my screen because uh, when the screen is on, I cannot do anything. No, no, you can do that. You can do everything. You are the boss. You can do everything. And even if it stops, so what? Oh my God! So many hearts. 
wow and i can see photos of people who are doing it also so oh, lovely then there's a kiss also there's a kiss with hearts <laughs> nice nice okay i'm at uh, for now i'm at uh, raising one pole uh, it says whether the speaker who is uh, interacting with you how much he is effective good good so good. i'm allow allowing panelist also to vote in this right i think the poll is launched yes it is but can the attendees see it i don't think so so attendees can poll in that i think because i have made them attendees can do and uh, even the panelists uh, can also do okay good good so we have uh, 25 uh, in total and out of which 21 had already voted so i just close the uh, polling we have almost 100% who have done the polling 24 right and sir <laughs> so this is the result so <laughs> very good very good nice nice so i stop sharing the polling well i have i would like to thank everyone uh, for uh, giving such a positive response for me uh, the polling for the sake of people who cannot see the poll results on facebook would you like to read out the results please so that they know what the people said because people on facebook cannot see this definitely sir 67% uh, percent, uh, of our uh, total attendee says that uh, 10 out of 10 they have given the rating that the speaker is effective good good then uh, 17% uh, uh, is the uh, second uh, uh, slab which comes in it that see uh, 17% of them since says that 9.5 they have given the rating 17% then uh, 13% of them given uh, me the rating between 7 and 8 and only 4% give the 9 9 rating so in total uh, 7 8 9 10 is the rating with maximum 10 shall i start sir I believe the screen is visible to everyone. Yes, yes sir. Right. Then the next uh, uh, topic which we are going to come in this module is the different type of complaints, which will always related complaints and the unusual complaints. So mechanical complaints uh, are uh, all the complaints which are basically uh, related with mechanical issue in the room or in the public area. For example, uh, tube light fuse uh, fused in the room, AC is not working. a uh, furniture is making noise uh, then your phone adapter is not working uh, maybe your ipod docking station is not working your mini bar is not working uh, then your electronic safe is not working properly so all the equipments whether they are electronic or electric or any maintenance related work which is going to come into your room which happens suddenly so the, uh, these all complaints will going to land up under this category mechanical complaints now second type of complaint is the attitudinal complaint now again I, as i have already told you you cannot do anything with the attitude of the guest if the guest has carrying some attitude if the guest wants uh, the attraction if the guest wants to seek the attraction from the uh, from the hotel staff or from the other guest i mean they will complain you they will complain you for nothing if the complaint is not there still they are going to complain you for example i just give you a very uh, common example this guest is in the restaurant he uh, ordered for a butter chicken and uh, uh, taste after tasting it the guest complains to the uh, uh, fnb service staff that the butter chicken is not very spicy i mean if we uh, if we all uh, all have eaten butter uh, butter chicken then we all know that the butter chicken is never never spicy it sweet and sour in taste 
right but however guest want is spicy uh, uh, i mean it, it it is at you will complain maybe the guest taste uh, taste buds are addicted to spiciness that's why the guest is complaining it is not spicy so in these kind of complaints when we are receiving it so we need to add of more chilies into it so we will make it more spicy and then we will present it to the guest so about the guest attitudinal complaints we cannot uh, i mean uh, make a graph or we cannot make a criteria that where the guest will be complaining guest can complain on anything and we need to act accordingly as per the guest complaint third type of uh, complaint comes in uh, in this category is the service related complaint now service related complaint i i just give you example uh the food uh, which is delivered by the in room dining to the room was cold that is a service related issue now your guest was sitting in the restaurant he make his order for the dinner and it's past 45 minutes his dinner is not yet delivered so again it is a service related issue guest is standing in the lobby for the check in and the guest needs to wait for half an hour again it's a service related issue guest is standing for the check out your edc machine is not working that's why the check uh, check out got delayed and it took uh, 10 to 15 minutes again it's a service related issue means anything any service which which we are rendering to the guest and uh, there is a lap in the time or there is a lap in the service then all those complaint will land up in the service related complaint which happens from our side and the last complaint which comes in the category is the unusual complaint which i have already discussed i mean guest is demanding something which cannot be attained or which cannot be completed in a short span of time all those complaints will going to land up under the unusual complaint uh, in these complaints we do not have any control on other part we cannot do anything into that as well except uh, giving other options to the guest or giving any future commitment to the guest so in that type of in this type of complaint we cannot do anything so these are the four categories in which we have divided the guest complaint as a mechanical attitudinal service related complaint and unusual complaint yes as a sir uh, before you proceed further uh, mr abhishek charles peter there is a question from pius sharma yes and sir. he has very straight forward question he is asking why guest is always right <laughs> If a guest done the wrong thing, why we find our employees staff guilty for that? Most of the time at my training, I observe this thing. Why we cannot be just um, assertive and we just tell the guest what is well, the situation? Uh, thank you. Uh, well, very good question and a very informative question, and it will be very informative to each and every person who is over here and listening uh, this webinar. that why the guest is always right all right first of all i would like to tell you that we are working in the hospitality industry and if we take it at a national level or a, a national uh, uh, promotion or the one liner what we have for the by the ministry of tourism this atithi devo bhavo means atithi is like devo atithi jo hai is like a bhagwan ka roop for us right to so bhagwan kaun hota hai भगवान से ना तो हम कभी आर्ग्यू कर सकते हैं भगवान को ना ही हम कभी गलत कह सकते हैं तो अतिथि देवो भवो दिस इज अर वन लाइन विच इज इन गिवन बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ टूरिज्म एंड विद दिस लाइन वी आर प्रमोटिंग अर टूरिज्म राइट सो एज वी आर वर्किंग इन द हॉस्पिटैलिटी इंडस्ट्री वी आर रिलेटेड विद द गेस्ट सर्विसेस नाउ अ वेरी कॉमन एग्जाम्पल आई विल गिव यू इन अ बीपीओ लाइन we have many customers who are calling and this banging on the bpo uh, uh, people who are at attaining your call sometime we have also done it in our life somewhere we just abuse them or we just shout on them we don't uh, listen to their uh, uh, i mean queries or we don't listen to their logic we don't listen to the thing which are which they want to convey us so we just simply bang up on them and they cannot reply back to us let me tell you because everything is recorded you cannot reply back to your customers post to uh, say that you are wrong or you are not supposed to make an aggressive uh, discussion with your customers so in a similar manner we are also in the hospitality industry and we need to understand that everything is connected with the guest if the guest is not there we will not be able to sell our rooms we will not be able to sell our food we will not be able to sell our spa services we will not be able to sell our Uh, uh uh any other services which we have in the hotels so everything is connected with the guest right 
and hotel is running why because revenue is coming and revenue is coming from the guest so i am not telling you that if the guest may be abusive to you sometime uh, the guest can be aggressive sometime the situation can be very very i mean disastrous in the hotel so the thing uh, what we uh, teach or what we are molding you when you are studying of a three years degree or four years degree we are just molding you in the mold of the hotel so that you may not face any problem when you go to the hotel so that you may not feel that uh, what kind of a big mountain is like had fallen on your head so that is the thing so uh, the basic thing we need to understand that everything is connected with the guest so if we are not able to make our guest happy if we are arguing with them if we are uh, putting our views that we are right no you are wrong then obviously they will be a lap in business we will going to lack for our room nights or guests will going to uh, not will uh, they will not return back to the hotel so uh, i mean these topic i will uh, further discuss in my ppt where we have the uh, certain things that how you need to uh, handle your guest complaint so there we will uh, going to discuss this uh, scenario more uh, uh, more deeply so i believe the question is answered yes it is on a lighter note Thank you. on a lighter note uh, can i interrupt you mr peter what sure sir okay on a lighter note uh, somebody asked a question piyush i think asked a question that uh, why can't we why can't we establish rules with the guest which reminded me of faulty towers i would like the attendees to write in the in the chat box if they have seen faulty towers uh, it's a british sitcom british uh, tv serial and it is i think one of the oldest british serials uh, uh, oldest hotel serials hotel uh, hotel business you know so there is this uh, army retired person who is retired from the army and he doesn't know what to do so he starts a hotel the name of the hotel is faulty towers f a w l t y faulty towers and it is hilarious if you see this pius if you see this serial you will you will understand you know how uh, if an army officer runs a hotel then how things are going to be so this army officer he wants the guests to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning and then do pt and then this and that no that doesn't work and it creates such a such a vivid comedy there is one uh, scenario where i remember there was a argument the guest uh, complained and there was a big argument so what the what the hotel manager who was a retired person from the army what he did was he took out a spray of shaving cream and he sprayed the shaving cream on top of the guest he turned the guest around uh kicked him on the back and threw him out of the hotel that i don't want you in my hotel so that is the kind of uh, hotel you will have if you want to discipline your guest you see the guests have come there for a good time there is there are a lot of people who will discipline the guest there is mother there is wife there is boss there is there is the police there is the judge there is the court there is there's so many people to discipline us do you really frankly think that the guest has come to the hotel to learn about discipline or to be more disciplined or to you know understand that he should get up at 6 o'clock in the morning and do yoga i don't think so he is spending a lot of money in fact he is this is the only vacation that he will have for the whole year and he is spending a lot of money and he's come with his entire family don't you think he deserves to feel like a king for a day or a, or two or three or <clears throat> for whatever duration that he's come he deserves the right to feel like a king and that's what you and i are here for to make him feel like a king so when a guest complains i feel personally that something is not right something is not right and something needs to be addressed immediately and we need to address the guest complaints very seriously so i got just reminded of the faulty towers where an army officer i hope you can understand <laughs> where i'm going but uh, it was really hilarious you please download this tv series i would suggest to all the students all the attendees and to all the panelists 
F A W L T Y. Please download it. It is freely available on the internet, and please see it. It is hilarious. It is full of things that you should not do. It is full of things that you should not do if you want to become a successful hotelier. <laughs> and it is presented so well. I think it is by BBC. So the English is amazing. The I mean, it's very old. It's about 20, 25 year old TV series. So the the graphics are not as good as they are today. But that is not the point. The point is, you will know all the good, all the bad things that a hotelier can do if you watch Faulty Towers. F A W L T Y. Please search it on Google. F A W L T Y Towers. That that will be all. I am sorry if I if I took the seriousness away from your presentation, Mr. Abhishek. No, no, sir. Uh, very good views, and in fact, you have elaborated it more, and you have polished the answer <laughs> <laughs> that I was saying. Yes, so thank you. I'll very mute much. myself, otherwise I'll keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for polishing the answer, sir. <laughs> okay, uh, shall I continue, sir? Okay. Uh, now uh, the next thing comes in. What are the basic rule? Uh, uh, by which uh, uh, I mean, what are the basic rules which comes in uh, that how you need to handle your guest complaints? But the first and the basic uh, rule which comes to handle the guest complaints that last night uh, the evening service which was done by the housekeeping staff was not very good and the room was dirty. Or second example, you can take it: guest comes to the lobby and complains to you that uh, last night he had uh, the dinner in the restaurant and the dal which was served to him was cold. So you need to take the responsibility of this complaint. You should not say to the guest, sir, this is the housekeeping related complaint. So, sir, this is the extension number. Kindly complain to the concern uh, person. Or, sir, this is the uh, food related complaint. I cannot handle it. So this is a restaurant manager extension number. Kindly contact him. No. As uh, 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 for the guest, when you are working in the hotel, whether you are working in FNB service, whether you are working in kitchen, whether you are working in housekeeping, or whether you are working in front office, for guest it's all same, right? So you need not to make or you need not to understand that I am working in front office or I am working in particular area. So uh, uh, the complaint which are related to this area will only be mine responsibility. So as a hotel staff, each and every complaint which lands to you, it is your responsibility, whether it is related to food, whether it is related to cleanliness, whether it is related to any uh, mechanical issue, whether it is related to any uh, front office related issue. So if any complaint comes to you, you need to take the responsibility. Do not say to the guest that I am not the concerned person, please contact this person. But on the same part, take the responsibility Please uh, jot down the complaint, what the guest is complaining to you. If you can resolve it, please then and there uh, resolve the problem. If you cannot resolve it, then kindly convey to the guest, sir. I will ask my uh, colleague or the concerned person to get in touch with you as soon as possible. So uh, you need to use these kind of words in front of the guest. So pleasant word. I mean, uh, uh, the words which uh, you are speaking to the guest should be pleasant they are not very harsh or the guest should not feel insulted. So that you need to keep in mind, especially when you're working in front office, because 70% uh, complain, if I'm not wrong, uh, lands with the front office. Rest 30% uh, complain goes uh, land maybe with the FNB service or maybe with the housekeeping or maybe with the chef if the chef is in the restaurant area. Right. So uh, as a Front office person, please take the responsibility of the uh, guest complaint or irrespective any of the department person or any of the uh, department who are dealing with the guest complaint. Now, next thing, uh, yes, or sir. Sir, your voice is not coming. I think your mic is mute. Uh, Abhishek, sir, mm, sorry to disturb. This is a related question. Abhishek yes, Bhardwaj wants to ask, like, what should be the body language? when we are handling these complaints is there any particular type of body language or we should be only humble or what 
it should be so, uh, uh, now these all uh, things will going to come in this now how we you need to ear how uh, you need to use your ears how you need to uh, use your eyes what should be your body language what should be your distance between the guests when you are talking so these things will going to come in uh, in the further slide sir thank you sir and thank you my pleasure sir now next thing comes is the using your ear is very important in guest complaint right uh, uh, you should always use your ears there, there's nothing ki uh, you are just speaking your words only to the guest and you want guest to listen to your words only you first need to listen the guest with empathy listen with full attentiveness no you should listen with empathy now empathy means that you're listening to the guest as your complaint so guest should feel that when the guest is uh, asserting his complaint to you or asserting his disappointment to you the guest should feel that yes you have the pain for the guest in your heart so whatever the guest is complaining to you you also uh, uh, i mean you are also very much uh, interested is in listening and you are very uh, i mean uh, at heart you are feeling very sorry that why my guest is disturbed so you need to listen with em empathy then you should uh, not listening while uh, uh, sorry not listening will not solve the problem of the guest so at last you need to understand if you will not listen to the problem you will not going to solve the problem of the guest so uh, you need to listen that is the only way how you can solve the problem of the guest if you will not going to listen you will not understand what is guest saying what is guest discomfort and you will not be able to act accordingly and at last you will not be able to solve the guest problem so listening is very important next comes in this is the your eyes now when you are uh, dealing with the uh, guest complaints your eyes also uh, i mean uh, uh, are are very important when you are dealing with the guest complaints so you need to give undivided attention to the guest undivided attention means when you are dealing with a guest complaint or be when you are dealing with a guest who is asserting his discomfortness to you so please give undivided attention to the guest it should not happen that the guest is complaining to you and you are engaged in your own work or uh, you are attending some other guest as well at that point of time so if this happens you can ask your colleague or you can ask the help of your colleague please attend the other guest so when the guest is complaining to you please give undivided attention to the guest and maintain eye contact that is very important if you are not maintaining eye contact guest guest will feel that you are not entertaining the guest and he is not important to you and that will going to create a blunder for you right if the guest problem is not very big it will become big so please give undivided attention to the guest and maintain eye contact with the guest that is uh, very important because that will show that yes you have a deep concern in the guest complaint and you are confident that you can solve the guest complaint so these two things will going to bring these two points with that and lack of attention will uh, make your anger uh, will make anger the guest even more so as i have told you uh, agar aap uh, if you are not giving uh, attention to your guest then obviously your guest will become more angry so uh, giving undivided attention and maintaining a nice and a good eye contact with the guest uh, will be uh, very helpful in handling the guest complaint next thing comes is the stay calm when the guest is complaining to you guest might might be uh, dashing upon you he might be shouting upon you it happens sometimes guest will abuse you some guests are there in the hotel which which have that tendency of abusing so they might abuse you but you need to understand when you are working in the hospitality industry never never get aggressive with the guest or become frustrated right or you pick up a fight with the guest it this should not happen let me tell you never become aggressive never become frustrated or never pick up a fight with the guest if you are not able, uh, able to handle the problem please ask your senior or the concerned person to handle the problem but never got engage in any kind of uh, aggressiveness any kind of frustration or any kind of fight with your guest because this will going to harm your career only this will not going to harm anyone else let me tell you in our industry it is not acceptable that you uh, if the guest is abusing to you you also abuse to your guest it is not acceptable 
if the guest is fighting uh, with you you are also fighting with your guest no in hospitality industry this is not acceptable and in last it will going to harm your career only and no one else so that is the point main point you need to keep it in your mind never become aggressive when the guest is complaining to you next comes is the apologize always regret in front of the guest you know whether the guest is right or whether the guest is wrong but please do understand that you need to listen to the guest with empathy and you need to show apologetic nature right when you are when the guest is complaining to you the guest should see that you are extremely regretted for the inconvenience which is made Uh, to the guest or by which the guest is feel inconvenient in the hotel and you should always be apologetic in front of the guest i apologize for the problem or uh, uh, i apologize for the discomfort which is made to you and please uh, allow me some time to get back to you or please allow me some time so that we can resolve this problem for you so we need to always regret in front of the guest and we need to always uh, use apologetic words in front of the guest not harsh word and not those words by which guest become more angry or the guest will next comes is the offer solutions so when you have listened to the guest uh, complain with empathy and when uh, you have uh, maintain a proper eye contact you have show regret okay everything happens now now you need to offer solution to the guest for the complain or for the discomfortness and never make a false promise to the guest the promise which can be completed please make it or if you are not authorized to take any decision maybe uh, i just tell you when you are a front office assistant or maybe if you are a new to the hotel or many of you will going to start your career in the hotel so sometime in initial stages you are not authorized to take decision especially when it comes to the guest complaint so always please uh, refer or please consult your senior person before offering any solution to the guest and if you are already uh, experienced person please offer a right solution to the guest do not make fail in a more disaster form so offer the solution now please inform the guest that sir it will going to take half an hour sir it will going to take one hour so please inform the guest and you need to ensure that whatever time period you are informing to your guest that complaint need to be resolved in that span of time it is it should not happen that you have uh, confirmed the guest okay sir this problem will going to sort it in uh, half an hour please allow me time of half an hour and uh, everything will be all right so you need to monitor that that complaint need to be uh, finish up before half an hour it should not happen that the complaint took time to get resolved one hour two or three hours because again if you are doing that then again it will going to make a problem a much more bigger scenario so you need to understand whatever time period you are uh, in <coughs> i've got another meeting coming up at uh, 6:45 in 5 minutes so i need to change a little bit i have to wear a suit so please allow me to leave uh, you please carry on and uh, i really appreciate uh, this good uh, effort from your side and from the part of the panel members for doing this at such short notice uh, i hope you don't mind if i leave Oh, no, sir. Uh, when you have a meeting, uh, obviously. Uh, exactly. Otherwise, we we have only ten uh, minutes left. So, if you have five minutes left, so you can leave, sir. And it's yeah. very. Uh, And I need to you. change my my dress sure. also a little bit. Only Thank the upper parts. Yes, the sir. upper part. The lower part doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> okay then uh, thank you all the attendees for coming and uh, thank you for all the panel members for the speaker especially abhishek for hosting this uh, meeting please allow me to leave bye bye take yes, care thank you azza sir can we proceed uh, we are about to finish yes please okay now next thing comes in monitor the progress so when you have already uh, committed the time for example the guest is complaining to you that uh, there was no water bottles in the room so in that scenario you just confirm it to the guest okay so please allow me 10 minutes time and we will uh, send the water bottles across to your room so it's not that your job finish over there you need to monitor the progress you need to check with fnb service whether they have sent the water bottles to the room and when they have placed it you need to confirm it from the from the fnb staff that they have placed the water bottles in the room so you need to monitor the progress 
then you uh, have already given it to somebody else and in last you need to follow up from the guest and you need to ensure that your guest is satisfied uh, with the solution whatever you have given or whatever you have provided to the guest so that is more important recovery or not so that is very much important so it's a short recap in the uh, uh, for uh, what we have done dealing with the guest complaint is the stay positive you need to respond very quickly offer personalized service to the guest uh, take ownership uh, of the complaint and you need to do the follow up so these are the basic fundas or uh, by which you can uh to uh, avoid or you can handle the guest complaint yes ashish sir uh abhishek sir just one question that was there in the qa uh, from uh, much of the time left that sometimes guest does not complain straight away but he gives 10 out of 5 or 4 yes sir so what is the reason for that sir uh let me tell you when the guest is rating you uh 10 out of uh, sorry 5 out of 10 then let me tell you uh, sir in a five star hotel uh, i mean 10 is the expectation what we want from each and every guest because when we are working in a uh, reputed hotel we are not there to make our guest satisfied but we are there to make our guest delight and when the guest is delighted then only the guest will mark you 10 out of 10 right so even we don't expect in a five star hotel or in a reputed hotel the guest marks you 9 let me tell you when i was working with the obroys if the guest mark us 9 out of 10 rating then we have the class with the front office manager in the morning that why guest marked you 9 on check out why guest marked you 9 uh, or 8 uh, on the uh, supervisory services so we need to answer that why the guest marks us 8 8 or 9 so 8 or 9 though is not a very bad rating but for the reputed hotels i mean it is not ex- expected that you are marked 8 or 9 so obviously 5 is below below i mean below standard i mean the guest is very angry to you that's why guest is marking you 5 so 5 is like a disaster on your appraisals so if you are getting 5 rating i mean it is not acceptable for you working in a five star hotel thank you sir you answered very well thank Mark, you thank you sir now the behavior which needs to be avoided as i have already told you uh, uh, the question which uh, yes uh, saurabh sir uh, 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 abhishek sir can i kindly request you to launch the second poll uh, definitely sir allow me a moment sir i am uh, uh, launching one poll uh, that uh, whether you want uh, any further uh, topics which need to be uh, i mean presented by me in future or not so when it has to be there so that i am launching the poll sir i believe it is visible sir yes sir i have submitted my answer yes uh, and i suppose uh, i will request all the attendees to kindly submit the answers okay we just about to close the poll well i'm just ending the poll i'm just sharing uh, the result uh, with everyone wow so uh, tomorrow's evening to obviously we are in the <laughs> we have already the evening so is not possible and so whenever our principal uh, uh, will going to instruct us uh, so we going to do such webinars especially for our students in future So we have got yes, sir. 46 for tomorrow evening. So there yes, is a sir. quite good response from the attendees. <laughs> so they are liking your session really, and Actually, we do very, very interactive. Thank you, very interactive. Thank you, sir.
अभिषेक सर कैन आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू काइंडली रीड आउट द आंसर्स ऑफ द लाइक शेयर द पोल रिजल्ट्स बिकॉज़ ऑन फेसबुक इट वुड बी कंफर्टेबल फॉर एवरीबॉडी so uh, 46% of the uh, total attendees says that they need to be uh, uh, broadcast or they want a session today's evening itself uh, 46% is a major a lot which says today's evening uh, then we have 31% uh, are uh, voting against every day every day we need to have some, uh, such a session from my side and uh, 15% says uh, for tonight aaj ki raat ek aur session hona chahiye and uh, 8% says next saturday so none of them says uh, after one month so that is the poll uh, sharing so i am stop sharing the poll sir actually they get regular frequency they want you yes, to come sir. on the as, as a presenter <laughs> we'll try and we'll uh, follow sir uh, principal sir's instruction whatever instruct in the future actually uh, yes sir front office is so interesting like uh, every department like uh, he wants to have a great insight of your department it is very like uh, uh, handling with human beings it is very interesting for everybody right right sir thank you thank you very much sir shall i continue sir sir okay. now uh, uh, one of the question i believe it was landed and passed at what behavior needs to be avoided uh, when we are dealing with the guest complaint the first one is uh, never uh, be uh, uh, create a confrontative situation with the guest mean don't stand in front of the guest and argue with the guest don't use for forceful hand gestures right up uh, when we move our hands while we are talking so we need to uh, i mean we should not use our hand gestures when we are uh, especially dealing with the guest entertain guest personal space you know when we are talking and when we have heat up conversation we uh, i mean uh, reduce the uh, spaces between us so that we need to uh, ignore or that we need uh, to be minimized with the guest so we need to uh, respect the guest personal space and we need to talk respecting the guest personal space defensive body language should be uh, should not be used raising your uh, volume is not acceptable and bad language obviously it is not at all acceptable so these are all the uh, forceful gestures which you need to avoid when you are dealing with the guest complaint uh thank you uh, mr abhishek chat speaker um, it was a great session is there any more slides to come may i know sir i think there are there is one more uh, or two more slides to count on all right so um uh, i'm really sorry i'm just making my comment in between <laughs> uh, i think it is too early but uh, i just make some uh, comment about this session it was uh, really interactive i mean um the types of complaint um the different uh, types of complaint and how to handle these complaints uh, what are the methods um you talked about empathy that is very good and um uh, how we have to handle these complaints so overall the session was really interactive um and i would like to take uh, permission from you to leave because i just definitely uh, definitely leave. sir yes i know you so, have to uh, break your uh, uh, that thing your fast uh, so yes. definitely sir definitely but it was really uh, really a learning session for me i have learned uh, a lot i mean a systematic method of uh, handling complaint we yes. all know like a handling complaint we do uh, complaint handling but it is really a very good guide to how systematically we can go about so thank, thank you, you so much, much for that thank you thank you thank you okay we just to quickly wrap up we have uh, one or more uh, two modules which are left now uh, effective uh, work practice is there when the guest complains lands to you there has to be immediate action identify the cause document it and follow up so these are the again uh, the effective practice when the complaint comes to you you need to have immediate action on that uh, identify the causes document it and do the follow up and inform the guest uh, so in last we need to uh, remember that uh, some guests are never satisfied so don't don't let them affect your performance if the problem uh, cannot be resolved admit it if the guest is very angry don't try to resolve the problem alone 
so we need to understand and last that some guests are there who will never be satisfied i mean they are such of a nature that whatever you do for them they will never get satisfied to so you need to understand that we have these categories of guests and please think that uh, and uh, if you're not able to handle those guests please uh, uh, direct it to your uh, seniors or to your concerned colleagues and don't let this thing affect your performance because sometimes we feel that we are not able to solve the guest problem we feel bad for it so don't think about that just think that some guests are there uh, whose problem can never be solved and they have such kind of nature so there has to be a win win situation or guests are happy and so the management so we need to understand and we are, we are working in between we are the channel between the guest and the hotel so we need to understand that we need to make our guest also happy and we need to make our hotel uh, policies also happy so we are the connecting channel in between that so we need to create win win situation so on the one part we need to make our guest happy on the other part we need to uh, follow the hotel policies so we need to uh, think on win win situation so in last we i would just like to uh, tell you about the blast approach now in maths we have the bodmas approach uh, to solve the mathematical problem in the similar manner uh, i have created a uh, basically a blast approach uh, to handle the guest complaint so blast approach basically it has the full form uh, so we're going to start up with the last and b will going to add up in the uh, in in the last when we will discuss uh, discuss the last performance so l stand for uh, listen attentively a stand for uh, apologize in front of the guest and always show empathy solve the issue on the hand and thank the guest so these thing needs to be there when you are uh, dealing with the guest complaint and in last b will come believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself if you are not confident you will not be able to handle the guest complaint trust me so as a part of the front office person especially i'm talking about you need to be uh, confirm uh, in front of the guest you need to believe in yourself so that you can handle the guest and the guest complaints in an effective uh, manner so we need to understand that if we are not taking care of the guest somebody else will going to take care for them so as we have already discussed that there is lot of competition in the market so if you are not taking care of the guest if you are arguing with them if you are not understanding their problem if you are not giving them solution i am sorry there are another hotel in the market who will take care of them so if you want business you need to act accordingly whatever the things we have discussed up till now so any questions from anyone yes sir uh, 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 in uh, firstly i i would ask uh, ask the attendees to give their questions in q and a fast and in the meantime there are some questions if you kindly allow sir please uh like uh, uh, sanjay tyagi is asking what are the methods to handle complaint from celebrity guest i mean uh, as i told you we have different type of complaints we have divided the complaints in four different uh, categories there is a tribunal complaint there is mechanical complaint there is service related complaint and there is unusual complaint so if the complaint is coming from a celebrity then let me tell you that complaint first thing it will be handled by a senior personnel right it should not be diverted to a person who is newly to the hotel or who is at a slightly at a lower designation so celebrity related complaints need to be directed to the senior position in the hotel now reason is there because if the complaint is coming through the celebrity then there might be a decision which you need to take on the bigger part for example you need to offer a uh, the, the guest complaint happens and you need to give a, a moe uh, a complimentary moe to the guest i mean moe is one of the costly champion so i mean that decision cannot be taken by a, a, a assistant level staff that decision can only be taken by a managerial staff so that is the main important point when you are dealing with the celebrity related complaint that that complaint need to be handled by a senior staff on the top of that and uh, uh, these complaint again they are divided in four categories and you need to act accordingly uh, what are, whatever we have discussed in the last slides 
very true you have answered the question of one more attendee bhargavi but wo wanted was having some confusion that what seniors will do like uh, everybody is calling the seniors then you have very aptly replied like they can take the decisions they can handle that thing easily with experience also sir there are some more questions so uh, uh, i would like to add one thing in it uh, why why we are uh, uh, saying that uh, uh seniors are, are always there because seniors have the experience yes so sir. if i am talking about the front office manager or the uh, uh, general manager of the hotel i mean is not uh, like that they have worked in the hotel line for 2 years 3 years 4 years 5 years and they become a general manager or they become a front office manager i mean front office manager is a person who had at least 10 to 15 years of experience so when a person is having huge experience so they can tackle with the problem in much more efficient manner very true sir very true very true some more questions if you allow sir please yes sir yes definitely uh, uh like uh, deepak kumar uh, has given some sort of situation sir what if any drunken guest comes in the hotel and slap one of the employee is there any action which we will take against the guest okay first thing now this is the drunken guest as he now he is creating a nuisance in the hotel now let me tell you for these kind of a guest we have the blacklist in the hotel the guest who are creating unnecessary nonsense in the hotel because uh, uh, the guest uh, i mean who is not drunk and he is shouting in the lobby now that guest can be controlled but a drunken guest cannot be controlled Very whether true. you take him to the separate corner of the lobby or you call the general manager nobody can control him so for these kind of a guest we have the blacklist we add their name uh, name to the blacklist and for the future reservation we deny them room second thing if the situation is out of control and he is uh, i mean uh, uh, spoiling the hotel property and he is uh, i mean uh, slapping uh, any of the staff of the hotel then that scenario we will call the duty manager in night time or the general manager in the day time and if the situation is not controlled at that point of time then that definitely we will call the police because there are other guests as well and when he is drunk obviously he cannot be controlled by anyone so we will try to control him or her if the situation goes out of control we will call directly manager we will not but call sir, any yes sir yes sir but there can be conditions sir like if he is a celebrity or he is a big shot or because he is doing this because he know he can get over everything like he is well connected then in, it is a very big problem then uh, it comes like out of control then there are situation what we saw in one movie who killed jessica like yes, that situations may arise so is there any situation after like can we uh, suggest something to the students of today like if such a situation is coming that like they are very violent very well connected big shot or something like that what then we should do so in that this scenario we uh, i mean i suggest what if if you are handling this problem if i i was working as a executive if i was having this problem though i never faced this problem but as a part of my experience at what my experience will uh, going to tell me that what i have to do in this scenario if this happens in a day time i will call the general manager because that there is a celebrity i mean the last last call will be taken by the head of the hotel very true not even not even by the head of the department the last call will be taken by the head of the hotel and in the night time we have the duty manager so in this scenario there are security guards which are accompanying uh, by that uh, security uh, by that celebrity then obviously we need to take help because they can control that person very effectively rather than we because we cannot police uh, uh, we cannot call police in this scenario because obviously we know he will going to come out from that problem very uh, easily so in that uh, uh, i mean uh, ty- this type of complaint uh, if we are getting from the celebrity then we will ask their colleagues to help us because these kind of people are always accompanied by a set of people maybe they have the security guards may have they they have their personal uh, uh, i mean secretaries Uh, i mean they have uh, these kind of people who are accompanying so uh, i mean this situation need to be tackled like this yes sir uh uh, uh, uh yes sir there is one more question like uh, 
how uh, sanjay tyagi is asking mr sanjay tyagi is asking how to handle the complaint from a group like group complaint is there then uh, what, what kind of uh, sir for the group complaint i mean uh, for the group complaint group, uh, group complaint never come directly to us for a group complaints we have the tour leader in between tour leader is a person which is assigned by the uh, person who is hosting the group so if it's a mice group then it, it it's it, it's a part of a company employee if it's a social group then it's a part of the hosting a person if it's a group coming from the travel agent then it will be employee uh, who is hired by the travel agency so the complaint which are coming from the group now again what kind of complaint is coming uh, so that i can uh, explain it more further but to handle the group complaint there will be a one person in between who is the tour leader so he is the one point contact for the group so if the group person is having any complaint they will tell to the group tour leader he will going to convey to the uh, front desk or to anyone uh, to the concerned person if the hotel is facing any problem uh, from the group they will convey to the tour leader and the tour leader con will convey the same thing uh, to the group so now what kind of problem is coming if we can have then uh, we can just talk on that on uh, i mean uh, uh, more deeply in that yes sir Uh, so there is one more question like uh, rahul soni i will uh, just come sir sorry uh, rahul soni wants a uh, uh, more clarification like in a situation what should we do if a checkout guest consuming alcohol at the lobby and okay. creating mess what we should do with these kind of guest okay now again uh, i'm telling you uh, for to handle the uh, guest who is drunk so we have already discussed uh, the sop that how we need to handle the drunken guest first we need to take the guest to a place uh, uh, which is not which is far from the public area if you can handle the complaint it's okay if the guest is out of reach call your senior and if it is not controllable then call the police this is this is the happen now second thing happens first thing we do not serve excess alcohol to the guest in the lobby the first thing is there if the guest is there in the lobby obviously as a welcome drink uh, we can uh, serve champagne to the guest or if the guest wants we can serve light uh, liquors to the guest in the lobby but we cannot make a lobby a hotel lobby we cannot convert it into a bar let me tell you this is not acceptable in a five star lobby because many guests are coming in so you cannot sit in the lobby and you can have gala time and sitting in the bar and you are drinking and you are having the gala time for that we have the bar separately and in most of the hotel we have bar which is near to the lobby it is not very far from the lobby in most of the hotel we have a structure like that which is near to the lobby now thing is that when the guest is drunk and he come from for come for check out then obviously some i mean in this scenario obviously check out formalities needs to be completed and we need to collect the payment from the guest so Maybe. if somehow it is not possible then we will arrange a, another room for the guest where we can take the guest and make the guest sleep because in this scenario we cannot do anything and if there is another a company guest then we can have a contact or we can convey to the guest so please you can complete the check in formalities and please convey us that what we need to do further and if the guest is creating uh, nonsense in the hotel uh, and spoiling the hotel property and having misbehave with the hotel staff then in scenario i have already explained then what are the procedures which we need to follow one more question is there yes sir. like which webinar will be hosted by our college tomorrow uh, <laughs> uh, for this uh, <laughs> the information will be passed on very soon yes sir yes sir any other question sir uh, i i suppose uh, 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 i will again uh, invite the invite attendees to kindly put your questions so that if there is any clarification you want that may be answered i suppose sir uh, we are done with the question round thank you thank you sir uh,
may i have the pleasure of thanking everybody like uh, uh, i really like uh, i really want to thank the management of ihm who has given us such a infrastructure such softwares every possible facilities to conduct such a webinars like we are really learning a lot from all these things these things were really very new to us and now we are so fluent that in such a short notice we all were able to conduct such a wonderful webinar uh i will want to thank uh, our principal sir like i really want to thank him who has given us the opportunity because uh, we were like uh, we were layman that way a few days back we were uh, not knowing anything we uh, i personally i may say i always used to go to the classroom with the chalk and duster and i would write something over there and then it is going on for years but in last few days i have learned and i have skilled so much that it will be like blessing for me for the years to for years to come i would really want to thank the total staff and faculty of ihm meerut those who have supported us in each and every manner all the computer operators all the infrastructure they have supported us every time mainly i want to thank colonel suresh gupta who as we all know we are presently in red zone but because of him we are able to coordinate everything right from home we have got every support from him i thanks a lot to him and the main thanks go to goes to acp sir abhishek charles peter sir so for a layman like me it was a great insight like when i can understand and i can have such a wonderful understanding of each and every subject and it guest handling is not uh, like uh, it is not uh, confined to your department in classroom also we are doing guest handling we are listening to the complaint of the students we are listening to the complaint of the parents we are listening to the complaints of other staff like we have to handle these complaints each and every day and i really know that everyone will be benefited by this lecture and i really wish that we may some more like this in this thank you lot sir. sir thank you director sir thank you sir uh, your permission meeting sir, yes sir we man the meeting uh, ashish sir uh, uh, we man the meeting okay all right sir thank you very much we are ending up the meeting uh, uh, before yes, ending the yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Uh, yeah i uh, i want to ask ashish sir if Uh, if he is there, I think Ashish sir. His connection gets get lost. I think so. And 